Nice to meet you, Monty. Nice to meet you. Um, just to give you some background on myself, I'm actually a freelance TV producer. Cool. Currently working on Long Island Medium. Cool. I don't know if you know the show. I do know the show. Um, I have MS. Okay. Just so you know. Buzzkill. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I uh, was diagnosed eight years ago. So I'm 32. I was diagnosed when I was 24. Okay. And I was pulling an all-nighter at VH1. And I woke up the next day, and I couldn't see out of my right eye, really. Yeah. And I thought I needed glasses. So, like, I waited a few days. My mom's like, let's go pick out some nice glasses. <laughs> went, to the, went to the eyeglass store. Uh -huh. Before you know it, hospital, smile tap, MS. Yeah. Um, so, I'm just curious now about your... Uh, that's more or less exactly the same as my diagnosis. Optic neuritis. Yeah, optic neuritis, yeah, but same thing. I thought it was uh, I had an eye infection. That's what I thought. And then went to the eye doctor, and then exact same thing. MRI, hospital, MRI, spinal tap, MS. So it was quick. Yeah, it was, it was quick. But it, that wasn't my, uh, now having kind of them tell me what I had, um, uh, I come to find out that 18 months prior, I mean, my legs went numb for like three months, and I just thought it was like a pinch nerve. And now you're putting it all together. Yeah. So when you were diagnosed, were you like shocked? Because I, for me, like it was major denial. Um, more, it was more upsetting for my mother and yeah. my father. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally way more upsetting for my, uh, my my parents, I think, than me. My mom still thinks I'm like about three seconds away from just sudden death. And I'm like, uh, no, um, I was, you know what, it, for me, I just was really just annoyed. I, was, I felt like a level of defeat and just like, ugh. But um, I didn't last very long. And then I was just kind of, it was like, well, if this is what it is, we'll figure out a way to make it work and just kind of move on. You moved past, you kind of didn't sit in that denial. Like you? I had about four days of just being really upset. And then after that, um, I just kind of got over it. I was the same way, kind of after the, the initial diagnosis and calming the family down. I was kind of like, it is what it is. I'm going to tell people, my coworkers know, my friends know. I'm going to tell the world so they could kind of realize yeah. that you could be young and hip and have MS and it's not the end of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so tell me what made you get involved with your, your web series and why you wanted to do this. Um, well, it kind of, it, it came out of um, a bit of frustration to a degree. I found that when I, when I got diagnosed with MS, you know, immediately go online, you start looking, okay, who has MS? And my only... Um, real kind of experience with knowing anything about MS was, was hearing about Richard Pryor and how, you know, how his story and how it ended. And it was just, that was the scariest thing to me. So, you know, I go online and I see, you know, read stuff and it, and it was, and I, and I found that it was, for me, anything public out there was women in their forties. And I just was like, well, that's, that's not, that's not the entire truth. Like it, it doesn't only affect women in their forties. And so I, I, made kind of a bit of a decision to try and help um, kind of, I wanted to just straighten up some misconceptions about it and to kind of create these, these pieces. You know, my, my take on it wanted to be not so much like, this is what it is, and you know, like a white coat PSA. I wanted it to be a bit more of a, a relatable um, kind of docuseries. And it was just kind of about my journey with MS and, and kind of seeing how, uh, you know, certain aspects of my life, which have been affected and how I deal with it and go to doctor's appointments, to family stuff, to just, you know, we called it my story because, you know, MS, my story. And, and um, you know, every, every episode is like, a, you know, it's a play on MS. So it's like, you know, movement and sustenance and, um, you know, things like that. So it was, uh, you know, it's kind of, there's takeaways in it, but, and it's just kind of a bit of easy viewing, if you will.